I'm Jason Roselle. You're watching Get Inspired with Jason. How to overcome body dysmorphia. It doesn't matter if you're fat, tall, short, too skinny, too this, too that. Notice how I'm saying too this or that. We overthink and I was a victim before I became a celebrity lifestyle and wellness coach of being super overweight, super paranoid, super unhappy because I wasn't enough, right? So if you're watching this right now, ladies and gentlemen, there is a solution and it's very, very simple. It's called making yourself happy and taking everything that you have within you and aesthetically and making it the best version. So my personal story, I was overweight until I was 21 years old. A lot of you know my story, but a lot of you may not. I was extremely overweight, full of stretch marks, and just one unhappy, depressed, and anxious person. I would eat my sorrows away each and every night. Whether it was cookies, spare ribs, the list goes on, all right? And I was partying and I was taking alcohol and just doing whatever I had to do to make myself happy, but in a negative way. Why? Because I had body dysmorphia and this is where it all stems from. And sometimes if we're not taking the steps to become the best versions of ourselves, we're going to continue battling this. So how do we overcome it? Well, for starters, regardless, again, if you're a female or a male watching this right now, it's observing and studying who you are and making sure you're loving who you are because if you're sitting there comparing yourself to this magazine, this model, this actor, you're never gonna be happy. Remember, nobody is perfect. So you're self-sabotaging yourself by overthinking, I have to look like that. I need to be like this. How about we become happy with ourselves from the inside first, right? My company, Caliente Fitness, which is a wellness company for many years on television, on social media, stands for getting your mind right and your body tight. Why? Because you can work out and get yourself in great shape. Get the muscles, get all the things that you want. But if your insides are not happy, you are never, and I mean never, going to be fully happy. Sure, you may look good on the outside, but ultimately your insides are gonna be rotten. So my biggest suggestion, regardless if you're trying to lose weight, gain weight, gain muscle, and if you're watching this saying, whoa, 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 there's more issues that you're not mentioning here. I, you know, I wish I was taller. I wish I was X, I was Y, I was Z. I want you to really just start practicing things that make you happy to become the best version of you. What can that be? It can be meditation. It can be self-awareness and learning about yourself and learning the things that you are really good at and excelling it. I'll give you an example. About 10 years ago, I would walk into different agencies, managers, and their answers to me when I said, hey, I would like to be you know, on your roster, you know, I, I would like to be an actor, I would like to be a model, X, Y, Z. They said, Jason, unfortunately, you're not A, good looking enough, depression, B, you're not tall enough, anxiety, C, you're just, you're just not, you're not there. But you know, I wish you the best. It, it was, wow, imagine that. Talk about dysmorphia mentally, physically, I just took all of that and I was leaving. And I remember asking this particular producer slash casting director, I said, wait, before I leave, what is it that you do like about me? And, and you know what he said? I love your personality. I love your energy. Bingo. That's it. I started getting my mind to a state of saying, wait a minute. Let me ask more people and I started noticing a lot of people really liked my energy, my personality. So slowly I started developing, getting just happier and putting energy as to what can I do to exude more energy, more happiness. And I started becoming more happy and of course I started working out, I started feeling better and it all just molded into who I am today. I practiced what I can do on a daily basis based on what I have to become better. So. My giveaway and takeaway to you is take what you have, become the best version of you, and become so awesome that then people want to become like you, and that is a great feeling. Don't overthink. Take and count your blessings and say, I am grateful. I am awesome. Because let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, the more you stress out about what you don't have, the more you're gonna focus on negativity. And remember, where focus goes, energy flows, okay? 
I hope this really connected with you. Leave me your comments, share this with your friends, and most importantly, know that I'm sending you nothing but love, energy, and just be you. Don't overthink, don't over exaggerate what you don't have and go rock it out. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.